first run on the war pig. Woo. We'll see how this one goes, taking it nice and easy. guys so this is a uh, one and a half one and a quarter on uh, the war pick it is surprisingly stiff which i wasn't expecting and uh and even despite the taper from the nose to tail riding switch is actually pretty easy so um i guess that makes sense because it's technically not set back at all even though it is tapered so weird uh weird board but super stiff, which is interesting. The tail is so stiff, which makes sense because it's short, but fun stuff. And then, yeah, these C8 bindings, not nearly as stiff as I thought they'd be. Like, like they're all worried about the, they've got a all carbon high backs. Not too stiff, which actually is kind of surprising. They kind of feel like all the other boards and bindings I've had so far. So let's get after this run some
saw you cruise by as we were starting, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I better go catch it. <laughs> it's all good. This is way bigger than my Oh, it's a lot. It's like honestly really sick. And then like depending on who you go to, it's not Bobos. I think it's the actual reps. So it's like a lot of them like they brought shit down. Like LibTech has skis, which is crazy because LibTech makes like only snowboards for the most part. So I think we should go check it out. But yeah, go check it out. Hey yo. How are you? Doing you good. You want to go check it out with us or? I might take one more lap on this. All right. Uh, what, is like, what is this? A LibTech Skunk Ape. Wildest cruising, dude. Wildest You're shit. Cruising. I, wild shit I've ever ridden in my entire life. It's cool, but. It's still funny. They're welcome.
All right, guys, end of the day, it's four o'clock. I think I got up here around like 10.30 or so after watching the F1 race. Got a couple of runs in, then I decided to actually see who had uh, boards that I could ride. Popped on that war pig or mountain pig, which was, I think, whichever one it was, I'll let you guys know. But that one was a lot of fun. But, uh, and also surprising considering like the taper on the board that it has also rode switch pretty well. Rode that for a couple of runs and then popped on the uh, Libtech Skunk Ape. I've always seen them, I've seen them at 170s, the ultra wides, they are wide enough for like someone like me that I should love it. Um, that board was really interesting because now I understand what I think everyone else actually feels like when they ride snowboards where they actually have to like force it over an edge because that one took a lot more effort than like my general boards that I ride all the time to like get onto an edge. Uh, it didn't really like low speeds, which is interesting. So like at low speeds, trying to get it to like hook into an edge and just kind of slide sideways, like just kind of speed check, didn't really want to do. But when you were at like kind of medium to high speed, if you just want to make like long carving turns, and I mean like long, long carving turns, that thing locked in and like did not want to move. And it was awesome. Probably one of the wild, wildest boards I've ever ridden. And, uh, Something that I think I might pick up as like a cruiser board, like when I decide I don't want to do park anymore because that thing for cruising at like high speeds was amazing. So um, that thing was sick and then popped on the Orca, which wasn't a fan of. There was way too much nose, which I could probably have figured out like moving my stance forward, but the way they had it set up was like kind of centered, I guess. I took one run on that thing and I was not a fan. I got. The Madden attraction on it was sick. It gripped up, but so did the Skunk Ape as well. So the Madden attraction was rad, but at the same time, there was so much grip in front of the nose because the nose was so long that I literally nearly almost like nose buttered, like sideways, like a little 90 nose butter, not even wanting to, but just because the nose hooked in and they're like, I couldn't control it. So yeah, not the biggest fan of the Orca. I think it's, and I was talking to the rep and they were saying that a lot of the bigger guys don't like it. And so I don't know if it was just the way that the, the reps were setting him up or it's just meant for someone who's not six foot six or over six feet tall. So, I mean, I think Travis Rice is like six something, five, 10, whatever, who knows. But yeah, overall whole day, like the War Pig was cool. Skunk Ape was awesome, but wild and like a, in a good sense. And then the, uh, I think the Orca was probably my least favorite, which is funny because everyone, that board has so much hype around it. So yeah, um, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and uh, hopefully that'll lead to uh, me being able to do more of these kind of demos, riding different boards, actually giving my opinion on them in a more detailed fashion because I don't give reviews unless I've had, you know, a good 10 days on boards usually because I usually don't get a feel for them. The first day, something will feel wonky, won't feel right. But by day 10, you figure out what it is that that was and you'll figure out how to ride that board. So if you guys want to see more of that kind of stuff, subscribe because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get to doing that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more. I think I'm going to do like little detailed things about how I felt about each board uh, a little bit in little smaller segments coming up. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Subscribe for that and uh, have a good one, guys. Peace.